Hi, my name is Debbie Dowling. Welcome to Flowing Level 2. So for today's practice, I want you to make sure you have your mat set up so you have room to extend your legs behind you and you're not kicking a wall or a chair or anything. Also make sure you have room on both sides so you can really extend your arms out and reach and so you're not tapping into anything. And I know sometimes that's tough, but do the best you can. For practice today too, you'll want to have two blocks if you have access to them. And if you don't, that's okay. You can use books or if you can reach down to the ground, we'll all be fine no matter what. Today's playlist, Debbie Dowling, Vinyasa, April 2nd, 2020. I cannot believe that's the date right now, but Debbie Dowling with a Y, 4 to 2020 Vinyasa flow. So take a moment, get yourself set up, and then we're going to get started. In our practice today, I want you to bring your thighs and your knees to touch and kind of make sure you have space towards the top of your mat. I'm just turning to face the camera, but you face the top of the mat and make sure you're at least of a third of the way back. And with your thighs, your knees together, heels out wide, I want you to have a seat on your block, just one of them, low, medium, high, whatever you need. Take a moment, maybe you got to roll your calves out of the way if they're a little bigger like mine are. And I just want you to place your palms up towards the sky. Close your eyes and start to lean back. And then let your tailbone drop and bring that energy, that focus down to your pelvis. And just kind of sink down. It's going to drop everything down into that block, your mat, earth, ground. Tune into the sound of your breath. I'm just taking these first few minutes of our practice to get in touch with our energy, our breath to bring our focus, our awareness, down inside. Relax the thighs, your hips. Make your way to Ujjayi Pranayama. Gently drag your breath across the back of your throat. And start to pull it down. And as you exhale, you push the breath up. And once again, you drag it across the back of your throat. And you feel the shift in the sound, and the feel in your body. Now keep your thighs together, maybe wiggle them in a little closer. Breathe in through your nose, and part your lips and just sigh. Release your right hand by your side, maybe it's on your heel, maybe it's on the mat, maybe it's just hanging there. Inhale, reach your left arm all the way up, and then exhale, bring it over. Try to keep that left hip on your block, and then inhale, we come all the way up. Exhale, bring that left hand down again on your heel, on the mat. Maybe it's just hanging there and inhale your right arm up. Exhale, reach it all the way over there. Big stretch. Keep your right hip on your block if you can. And then inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, release it down. Lift your hips up and off that block. Just move it out to the side. Bring your knees, your shins together, and come into your embryo pose. So rest your forehead on the mat. Sweep your arms behind you and turn your palms up towards the sky. Let the shoulders roll forward. Bring heaviness into your hips, your tailbone. And just kind of surrender everything down towards the ground. You can be still. You can sway a little bit side to side. Just doing whatever feels good to you in the moment. Returning to that ujjayi. Now bring your hands to your heels with your thumbs on your ankles. I want you to tuck your chin to your breastbone and slide your forehead to your knees. Inhale, come up into a rabbit. So use your hands, bring your heels together, pressing your arms into the sides of your legs. Keeping your chin at your breastbone, feel that stretch along the length of your spine. And notice if your shoulders have crept up by yours, pull them down. Just create all that extra space. Still staying with the ujjayi. 
Now keep your chin to your breastbone and inhale. We're going to come all the way up to the top. Exhale, raise your hands. Ah. Shrug your shoulders all the way up, back, and down. Right hand down, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reach it over. Inhale up. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, sweep it all the way over. Inhale as you lift. And then exhale, release it down and make your way to that tabletop. I just want you to step that left foot forward by your thumb. Ah. Inhale, your arms to the sky, find a crescent moon. Turn your pinkies in, let your tailbone drop. Again, bring happiness to that pelvis. And then slowly bring your hands down to your thighs. Push down, drop your tailbone. Now, staying with your breath, feel yourself anchored to the mat, but lift the top of your head to the sky. And start to lean back just a touch, pressing your spine against the wall, creating space in the hips, the psoas muscles. Starting to pull the belly inward, feeling the stretch of the ribs along the length of your spine. Even creating space in your heart and your lower back. Take another nice deep breath in. And then exhale, I want you to release your hands forward all the way down, curl your back toes under, step it into your downward facing dog. Press back, pulling your chest by your thighs, drawing your arms into the ears to let the biceps roll forward. Feel free to be still, feel free to bend your knees or move your hips and shoulders. Just take your time. Press back with the chest. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Exhale, bring your knees all the way down to the ground. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, your arms to the sky. Drop your tailbone. Exhale, your hands to that thigh. Let the tailbone, the pelvis drop. Feel the top of your head reach the sky. Start to lean back. Pressing your spine against the wall, again, creating space in the hips, the heart, the low back. It's really broadening, opening up. Staying with that ujjayi. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down, curl your back toes, stepping into your downward facing dog once again. Ah. Press back with the chest. And then inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Find your three-legged dog as you press back. Exhale, just step it straight on through by your thumb. Flatten your back foot down. Now walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Here's where blocks come in handy. If you have them, take them on low, medium, or higher. Maybe your hands touch the ground. But blocks are nice from the beginning, so pull your shoulders down and draw your heart forward. And then kind of sink into that right hip. Keeping your feet fully anchored into the mat. Maybe your shoulders can glide on down. You can always start to crunch up by the ears, especially if you're tighter through your low back, your hips. Now bend your elbows and start to fold yourself forward. Maybe you let your head hang heavy here. So go deeper into the hip, into your hamstring, into that quad. And press the back, the pinky edge of your back foot into the mat. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, bear down, lift yourself up. Move those blocks away and walk your hands to the top of your mat. Downward facing dog, feel that big press. Ah. Chest to your thighs and then inhale, left leg goes up. Three-legged dog, pulling your chest all the way back to the thigh. Exhale, I want you to step it through. Low lunge. Now flatten your back foot down. Start to walk your hands over to the right. Bring those blocks with you, especially if you use them on the other side. Low, medium, or high. Plant your hands on those blocks. Shoulders down, let the tailbone grow along. Just kind of sink your weight into that left hip. Keep your feet fully planted to the mat. Breathe it in. And now from here, I want you to exhale and pull the elbows in and start to hinge forward. Let your head hang down to the ground, going even deeper into the hamstrings, into the hips, that nice big stretch. Breathe it in. 
Exhale, bear down, push it up. Move those blocks, walk it to the top of your mat, low lunge, and then step it back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, high in the balls of the feet and bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Bring your chin to your breastbone. Gaze inside. Inhale, Tadasa, arms sweep up all the way around you. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Fill your thumbs at your breastbone. Samasthiti. Titi. Then spread out your fingers, spread out your toes, and inhale your arms to the sky and let your eyes follow your hands all the way up into the universe. Exhale, swan drive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, find your plank pose, Dandasana. Inhale, look forward and hinge. Exhale, to that low, elbows by your side, always feel free to drop to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog, pause here, drop your shoulders, but pull your hips, your heart forward. Exhale, to your downward facing dog, chest to your thighs. Inhale, high in the balls, feet, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or that giant step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, chin to your breastbone. Inhale, Tadasana, arms reach the sky, pull it around you. Exhale, hands to your heart space and pause. Feel your energy draw to your center. Ujjayi, inhale, arms to the sky and look up with your mind's eye. Pass your hands all the way up into the heavens. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, to your plank pose, hands to the mat, step it back. Inhale, look forward, hinge forward, and exhale to that low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, into your downward facing dog. Pause here and pull your navel to the spine as you press back. Now keep the press as you roll up high on the ball's feet and bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, feel free to float to the top, whatever's in your practice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, chin to your breastbone. Inhale, Tadasana, to reach the sky, pull it around. Exhale, hands to your heart. Press your palms, open your fingers and toes, and inhale, extend your arms to the sky. Look up with your mind's eye, pass your hand, and keep reaching, keep lifting all the way up. Exhale, into a back bend, cactus pose, well post your arms. Inhale, Tadasana, lift it up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, high to low plank or any combination that works for you. Exhale, as you melt yourself back. Remember, hollow your belly. Press back with all the energy you have, so not just with your arms, but also with your thighs, your knees, your heels. Now keep that energy and inhale, bring it forward into your plank pose, Dandasana. Draw your shoulders down towards your ribs and push your heels away, your tailbone's nice and long. Now pivot to the outer edge of your right foot, inner arch to the left. Inhale, your right arm to the sky, side plank, Vasistasana. So push the mat away. Lift up your hips, your ribs. Now you can keep your feet staggered, you can stack your feet, whatever works for you. You can always drop your bottom knee. Now feel that lift and start to reach that arm over your ear, nice and long. Breathe in, and then exhale, bring it forward to your plank. Drop your left forearm down to the ground and bring that hand over to your right wrist. Pivot onto the outer edge of the left foot, inner arch to the right, and inhale, right arm to the sky. Once again, side plank, put your arm in forearms this time. Bear down, lift up the hips, the ribs. Feel free to keep your feet staggered, or you can bring that right foot on top of the left. Now feel that press and lift, chin over your shoulder. Everything's reaching, everything's long. Press your tailbone to your heels. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring your right forearm down in front of the left. Again, we pivot over. You can stagger your feet, you can stack. Lift that arm to the sky. Side plank once again. Forearms, lift the hips, the ribs. Feel that nice big stretch. Keep pressing down, lifting up. Tailbone all the way to your heels. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your left hand down to the ground. Take a moment, press up with the right hand. Pivot over to the outer edge of the left, inner arch to the right, and inhale, right arm to the sky. Again, keep your feet staggered. You can stack your feet. Bear down to the palms, lift up. Lift up with the hips, the ribs. 
Maybe reach your right arm all the way over your ear. That big stretch and breathe in. Exhale, find that plank pose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale to your low elbows by your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, into your downward facing dog. Press it all the way to the back of your mat. Inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Inhale, right arm goes to the sky. Just stretch it up. Exhale, bring your hand down. Now drop your shoulders, look forward. Press your back heel away and breathe in. Exhale, change legs. Pull your shoulders down. Hug everything in and inhale, your left arm goes to the sky. Just reach up. Press and lift. Breathe in. Exhale, your hand comes down. Hop, switch it. Right foot up, left foot back. Flatten your back foot down. You're going to walk your hands over to that left side. Feel free to use your blocks or not. Bear down. Keep your left hand where it is and inhale. Right arm goes up. And then place it on your thigh. Ah. Start to pull your chest towards that upper left corner of the mat. Keep bearing down into both palms. Lift your tailbone just a touch. Take a nice deep breath. Now exhale, sweep that left hand across the outside right ankle. Elbow wide, start to pull your chest down. Pull your left hip forward. Now you can keep your right hand on your thigh or inhale, we just reach it up. Press into the pinky edge of your back foot. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, your hands come down from your foot, find your low lunge. And inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Give it a little shake. Exhale, roll it open. Bend the knee, flex the foot, drop your right shoulder down as you press. Pulling your shoulders to your ribs. Inhale, that leg long. Exhale, to your downward facing dog. Feel that big press. Remember, arms and legs long, everything pulling to the back of your mat. Inhale, that left leg goes to the sky. Exhale, we step through. Find your low lunge. Now flatten your back foot. Oops, no, nope, stay here. Shoulders down, look ahead. Now I want you to hop switch and bring your right foot up. Shoulders down, look ahead and breathe in. Exhale, hop switch it up. Left foot up, right foot back. Now we flatten the foot down. Walk your hands over to the right side of the mat. Ah. Bear down into the palms, feel that lift. And then inhale, your left arm up. And exhale, bring it on to your thigh. Start to use your body, pull your chest towards that upper right corner of the mat, keeping that big heel pushing down to the ground. So you're still getting that nice big stretch in your hips, your lower back. Take a deep breath. Now exhale, take your right hand to the outside of your left ankle. Elbow wide, use that energy to pull your chest forward. Bring your right hip to the top of the mat. You can stay where you are, or inhale, that left arm goes to the sky. Feel the reach, look up past your hand, and press into the outer edge of that back foot. Breathe it in. Exhale, your hands come down from your foot, make your way to a low lunge. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky. Exhale, roll it up and bend the knee and flex the foot. Pull your chest all the way back. Inhale, lengthen your leg. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Pull your chest to your thighs and inhale, bring it forward. Exhale to your low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high in the balls of feet, bend your knees. Exhale, walk, step or float to the top and feet open, hip distance apart. Maybe a little wider. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Now bend your knees, let your chest rest on your thighs. Options here, you can bring your hands on your thighs or go deeper and press your forearms onto your thighs. And if your hand, forearms are on your thighs, bring your hands to prayer. Now shoulders down, and we're just gonna sit back, bringing your weight into your heels. I want you to spread all 10 toes wide. Watch your shoulders, keep them away from your ears so you're constantly drawing your heart forward as you're pressing your tailbone away. Shifting your weight into your heels. We're firing up the legs. Keep sitting back. Nice and long. Draw the shoulders down a little bit more. Sit back into your heels. And then slowly extend your arms forward. Find a steeple grip. 
press your forearms together, your biceps. See if you can sit back deeper, but lift your tailbone up one inch and don't change anything else. Start to take your gaze forward, so a slight lift of the chest. Inhale, pull your arms up by your ears. Find that nice deep chair pose. And let the shoulders slide down. Lift your heart higher and breathe in. Exhale, four fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga nandasana. Just flow with your breath. You can step, you can float back, whatever works for your body. As you press back, audible exhale, let it out, let it go. Ah. Inhale, right leg's going to go all the way up to the sky. Press back into that three-legged dog. Exhale, I want you to step through. Flatten your back foot down. Inhale, warrior two, just spiral it open. Start to bend and lengthen that front leg. Taking yourself a little bit deeper into this pose. We've created space in our hips, our lower back. So now pause, front knee over your heel. Lean back with the left hand. So now your shoulders are over your hips. Gaze straight ahead, look past your fingertips. Find that invisible point in front of you. Just gaze straight through. Then turn your thumbs to the sky and inhale, reach it forward. Exhale to a side angle pose. Now bear down, lift that left hip up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it up and back, nice and slow. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana. Exhale, as you mount yourself back. Draw your arms into your ears so biceps roll forward. Inhale, left leg goes all the way to the side, binding your three leg, you talk and continue to press. Exhale, I want you to step it through. Flatten your back foot down. Inhale, warrior two, open it up. Start to bend and lengthen that front leg. Just allow yourself to go deeper into that pose. Those hips are open. The low back is stretched. Now pause, front knee over the heel. Lean back with your right hand, stack your shoulders over your hips, and then gaze ahead. Find that invisible point, look straight through. Finding your focus, your drifty. Then turning your thumbs to the sky, inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, side angle pose, opening up. Gazing past your hand. Now press into the back foot. Lift your right hip up ever so slightly. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it up and back. Keep reaching, keep stretching. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Follow your breath. Draw your navel to the spine. Every time you pull back into that downward facing dog, I want you to go a little bit deeper. So hollow out your belly, lift your tailbone. Inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, roll it open. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, to your right elbow. And then inhale, swoop it over to the left. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, press it back. Heel to the hip. Inhale, lift the knee to shin. Exhale, to your right elbow. Inhale, to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale, we press it all the way up and back. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale to the left. Extend that leg out to the side. Hug your arms or your thighs. And I know sometimes you want to move on, but I want you to pause here. Draw your shoulders down. Press back with your tailbone. Press back with your left heel. Take your left arm straight ahead. Like you're shaking someone's hand. Now drop the shoulder. Move your heart all the way forward. Release that hand to the mat. Right knee goes to your chest. Inhale, extend that leg all the way to the sky. Three-legged dog, once again, press. Exhale, step it through, find your low lunge by your thumb. Inhale, crest, Nanjaneyasa, rise on up. Ooh. Pulling your arms up by your ears, letting the shoulders glide down so your tailbone can drop. And as you lean back, push your left heel away at the same time. Exhale, warrior two, don't worry, we're gonna continue to build through this series. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it up and back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Just flow with your breath. Take your time moving with your breath. Ujjayi. And then slowly inhale. Left leg goes to the sky. Three-legged dog. 
Remember, everything's pulling to the back of your mat. Exhale to your left elbow. Give it that tap. Inhale over to your right elbow. Exhale to the left. Inhale, we press it back. Bring that heel to your hip. Inhale, bring it all the way forward to your left elbow. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, left. Exhale, we press it all the way back. Pause and inhale, lift it up high. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale to the right. Then extend that leg out to the side, pinky edge. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Again, we're staying right here. So shift your weight forward. Press back with heel, let your tailbone grow long. Extend your right hand out like you're shaking someone's hand. Now glide the shoulder into the socket and keep pulling the back of your heart forward. Really squeeze and engage your inner thighs. Exhale, that hand down. Pull your left knee to your chest and inhale, three-legged dog. Keep reaching. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale to your crescent, Anjaneyasa, rise on up. Bring your front knee forward, pulling your arms by your ears. And as the shoulder blades glide down, your tailbone drops. That doesn't mean you're sinking. I really want you to activate by pushing your right heel away so you feel that lift. Exhale to your warrior two. Gazing straight down your hand. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale to that side angle pose. Open it up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it up and back. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Just release and flow with your breath. Feel that big pull all the way to the back of your mind. Inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, roll it up and bend the knee and flex the foot. Drop your right shoulder down. Feel that big press. Inhale, lift that knee, the shin higher, and exhale, bring it to your right elbow. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale, extend that leg up. Bring your heel to your hip. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale, we lift and press it all the way up and back. Big stretch. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale over to the left and extend the leg. Hug your arms, your inner thighs, look forward. Press the back heel away and slowly extend your left arm out like you're shaking someone's hand. Keep squeezing and inhale, rise up. Push the mat away, feel that lift through the hips, through the ribs, look up past your hip. And then exhale that arm all the way over your ear. Inhale, lift your heart to the sky. Breathe in, keep pressing. Exhale, that hand comes down. Pull your right knee to your chest. Now inhale, push the mat away, round, scoop out the belly. Exhale, step it through into your low lunge. Inhale, your arms go wide. Squeeze your shoulders like a T, lift your chest and breathe in. Exhale, right arm on your left. Eagle arms, bear hugs an option. Now inhale, lift up into your crescent. Now exhale, bend the front knee and push your forearms away. Feel the back heel extend. Now inhale, lift the forearms, lift your gaze. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to that warrior two, nice and wide. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, rise up into your stop. Exhale, extend your angle, left arm over your ear. Draw that shoulder down, look behind you. Inhale, reverse your warrior, take it up and back. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, flow with your breath. Remember to hollow your belly, to draw your arms in closer, but also engage your inner thighs. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, roll it up and bend the knee and flex the foot. Press back with the chest and inhale, lift the knee to the shin. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale over to the right. Exhale to your left. Inhale, extend it up. Heel to the hip. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale to the right. Exhale left. Inhale, press it back. Find our version of scorpion. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale to the right, and then extend that leg. Hug your arms, your inner thighs, and make sure you're pushing away with your back heel as your heart moves forward. Right hand out like you're shaking someone's hand. Give it all a hug. Stay here. Inhale into your rising star. So nothing's sinking. You press down with the hand, lift the hips, the ribs, your gaze. You can stay right here. But I encourage you to inhale, lift your heart even higher, open it to the sky, and then exhale, arm over your ear. 
Keep feeling that lift, that openness, that space, and breathe in. Exhale, that hand comes down, low lunge. Pull your knee into your chest. Inhale, push the mat away, hollow your belly, scoop it out, look for it. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, arms go wide, lift your chest. Exhale, eagle, left arm on your right. Remember, bear hug your option. Keep your right heel pushing. Inhale, we lift up. Front knee forward, and you press the forearms away. That back heel is still reaching. Now inhale, lift the forearms, lift the gaze just a touch. Exhale, spiral open into that warrior two. Now inhale, reach forward. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, lift up like you're moving into star. And exhale, extend, bring it forward, right arm over your heart space to the sky. Inhale, reverse your warrior, take it up and back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Big exhale as you melt yourself back. Pulling your chest all the way to your thighs. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale. Let it out, let it go. Come on down to your knees. Grab a quick drink. We're going to keep adding on to that. Adding some binds, adding some balance. Just want to make sure you are nice and warm. So have a seat on your thighs, your knees. Hips are on your heels. Turn your palms up to the sky for just a moment. Shrug your shoulders open. Let your tailbone drop. Now lean back. It's like your spine was pressing into a wall. Maybe you can stack your palms one on top of the other. Maybe you bring your thumb and whatever finger you choose to touch. And I say that because you always know the right one for what you need. Tap into that ujjayi. Just feel your energy being pulled back to center. So think of this time on your mat like a moving meditation. It's a gift that you give to yourself. It brings you into center. It helps you remember to be peaceful, to be kind to yourself, to your own body, to let it be open, to let it soften. To remember that's what love is. To allow yourself to soften, to allow yourself to open, to have courage, to have faith. Those aren't the things that make us weak. Those are the things that make us strong. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, your right hand down. Inhale, reach that left arm all the way up and over. Now exhale, sweep it around. Place it by your left side. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reach it over that big stretch. Inhale, sweep it around. Place it by your right heel. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, take it all the way up. Lift your hips. You can look down past your hand. And then inhale, we sweep it around. Come back on your heels. Release your hand. Inhale, right arm all the way up and over. Lift your hips. Feel free to bring your chin over your shoulder, look past your hand, and then sweep your hand all the way around, place it beside you. Sweep your hands around, interlace your fingers, inhale, lift your forearms, lift your chest. I want you to look all the way up with your mind's eye. Exhale, release your hands, make your way into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to move your knees, to move your hips. I'm gonna give you lots of options. Please take what works for you, leave the rest behind. Now draw your arms in towards one another. Feel your biceps roll forward. Feel your triceps roll back. Use that energy to help you draw your chest to your thighs. And then feel your inner thighs spiral towards the back of the room. So there's opposition. Inner thighs are spiraling back. Biceps are spiraling forward. So you can feel that deep reach. Inhale, your right leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, I want you to step outside your right hand. Runner's lunge. Lizard pose. Take a moment here. Press your shoulder and your knee together so everything's hugging tight. And as you bear down into the palms, I want you to lift the tailbone and push that back heel away so you're nice and long. Don't drop your head. Look straight ahead so you're nice and long. That tailbone's extending even as it's lifting. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Step your left foot up outside your hand and turn your toes out. Drop your hips. Ah. So now, I just come, want you to fold forward like this. Kind of work your forearms, your triceps inside your thighs, and start to press it out. Press your inner thighs together. 
Now you can stay right here. You can sweep your arms underneath. Plant your hands outside your feet. Maybe you work your arms a little closer. Press your thighs and the arms, your arms into the thighs. Bear down, lift your heart space. Ah, it's almost like you're flying, so your hands are light at the moment. And then bear down into the palms so you can lift the tailbone. Start to draw the back of your heart all the way forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands. And inhale, just lift up. Exhale, toe heel your feet in. Inhale, to that halfway there. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Pull back. Maybe you bring your chin towards your breastbone, taking yourself deeper. It's totally up to you. Inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, roll it up and find that version of scorpion. Heel to your hip, drop your right shoulder down. Now inhale, lift the knee, the shin, and exhale, take it all the way to the left. Extend that leg out to the side. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Left hand out like you're shaking someone's hand. Now shift your weight forward, even though the tailbone's growing long. Inhale to that rising star, lift it up. And as you press, lift the right leg. Extend that arm over your ear and start to spiral your heart towards the sky. Now pull your right knee in towards you. Bring that left hand down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, roll it up and point the toe. Look under your right shoulder. Come on to your fingertips so you really can open up to the other side. Stay here. We spiral and open. Find your wild thing. Lift your hips, your heart. Really reaching that arm over your ear. Nothing sinking. I want you to press the hand into the mat. Feel that lift. Exhale, step through into your low lunge. Inhale, arms go wide. Exhale, right arm under your left. Find that Igor, that bear hug. Inhale as you lift. Now exhale, bend that front knee. Push your forearms away. Back heel is really strong. Inhale, lift your forearms. Lift your chest. Keep reaching your arms over your ears. And then exhale, we're going to hinge it forward. Still in that bound arms. Reach your fingertips away. Stay right here. Inhale, pull your left knee up and find a single leg of Tadasana. Lift your elbows higher. Exhale, take that bind and wrap with the left foot. Now bring your knees forward. Inhale as you lean back. Exhale, we drop it low. Keep pressing your forms away. Don't worry, we're not here for very long. I just want you to feel that squeeze, that engagement. Inhale, pull your left knee all the way up, lift your elbows higher. And exhale, extend it back. Eagle arm and plane, left leg long. Reach your fingertips away. Drop your left hip towards the mat. And then slowly release the ball of foot all the way down. Inhale, we lift up into that crescent once again. Exhale, into a warrior two with bound arms. Ah, press your forearms away. Open that front knee. Inhale, lengthen your front leg, turn your toes in. Exhale, into a back bend, lift your elbows, your forearms. Look all the way past your hands. Exhale, bring it forward. Find that prosarita. Inhale, reach your fingertips away. Exhale, we pull it back. Inhale, reach, look forward. Exhale, we pull it back. Inhale, reach it all the way forward. Pause, press your forearms to the mat as you move the back of your heart forward and away. Now inhale, we lift up once again. Exhale, open to that warrior two and go up. Ah. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, to your side angle pose. Now inhale, lengthen your front leg, lift your arms up almost like a star, and then exhale, you're gonna extend, reach. Inhale, lift it up, keep that front leg long, arms lift. Exhale, extend in both arms, stay by your ears. Now find your steeple grip with your hands. Press your palms together, lift your heart to the sky, feel that back heel push down to the ground. Inhale, reverse your warrior, take it all the way up and back. Feel that big reach. Exhale, release and find a half moon pose. Right hand down, push off. Slide your left hand to your hip. Now as you flex your back foot and turn your toes to the sky, move that left hip open. Just roll it up towards the sky. Sweep your left arm behind you. Find a bound pose. Maybe you can work your hand around your hip crease. And now not only do we spiral the hip, we spiral the heart space. Lift up even higher with the chest. And then exhale, just step it back. Ah. Inhale, reverse, staying in that bound arm. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Stay with your breath. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, find our version of Scorpion. Bend the knee and flex the foot. Left shoulder down and inhale, lift the knee to the shin. Exhale, over to the right elbow. Extend that leg out to the side. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Pressing back with the tailbone. Pressing back with the right heel. Inhale, your right arm forward like you're shaking someone's hand. Now inhale, rising star. Feel that lift. Feel the press. Lift your left leg at the same time. Inhale, reach up with the heart. Feel free to extend that arm over your ear. So you're not sinking. Everything's pressing and lifting. Exhale, bring that hand down. Pull your knee to your chest. Inhale, your leg to the sky. Exhale, roll it up. Point your toe, look under your left shoulder, come up onto your fingertips and keep spiraling your heart to the sky. Stay here, flip it over if that's in your practice. Lift your hips, your ribs, reach that arm over here again. Feel that press, feel that grip. Let nothing sinking into your mouth. Look past your hand and take a deep inhale. Exhale, you step it straight through, find that low lunge. Inhale, arms go wide, squeeze your shoulders. Exhale, left arm on your right. Bear hugs your option. Inhale, lift it up. And as you exhale, bring that front knee forward, press the forearms away. Feel your heel extend. Now inhale, find that back bend, lift the forearms. Look all the way up past your hand. Bring your arms past your ears, best you can. Exhale, we bring it all the way forward. Pause, extend your fingers, bring your right hip forward. So you're coming high in the ball of the foot, maybe that big toe. Every option, stay here or push yourself off and pull your right knee up. Ah. Exhale, take that bind. Work at least one toe behind the calf and then bring your knees on your belly, move your hands. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, we just drop it straight on low. Squeezing everything together but pressing your forearms away. Feeling that nice big stretch. From here, inhale, pull your knee up. And exhale, we're going to step it all the way back. Find that lunge. Inhale, lift up into that crescent one more time. And then exhale, stay in those bound arms. Move into your warrior two. Press your forearms away as you bring your chin over your shoulder. Now inhale, lengthen that front leg. Turn your toes in. Inhale, find that back bend. Lift the forearms, lift the elbows. Look all the way past your hands. That big stretch, that big opener. Exhale, cross the rear, hinge it forward. Now inhale, reach your fingertips away. Exhale, we pull it back. Inhale, reach your fingertips forward. Exhale, we pull it back. Inhale, reach it forward. Pause, draw your heart to the front of the mat. Keep reaching your fingertips away. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, to that worry too. Ah, sweet freedom. Let that energy flow. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, bring your arms up. Exhale as you extend, right arm over your ear. Now inhale, come on up once again, lengthen that front leg. Keep your arms long as you exhale and extend. Hands to prayer and find your steeple grip. Now open your heart to the sky, arms behind your ears. Feel that back heel push down to the ground. Inhale, reverse your water, take it all the way up and back. Exhale, hand comes down. Find your half moon pose and press and lift. Bring your right hand to your hip. And as you turn your toes to the sky, roll that right hip open. Really open it to the sky. Then sweep your right arm all the way around you. Press your forearm into, your, into the small of your back. Work your hand around your hip crease. Now lift the chest, lift the leg. Lift your heart space to the sky. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, we step it back. And inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it up and back. Keep feeling that reach, feeling that lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. We've got just a little bit more. Exhale, as you melt it back. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Press your body's nice and warm. Exhale, step it outside your hand. Runner's lunge, lizard pose. Press your knee and your shoulder together. Firm up your arms. Press your back heel, lift your tailbone. You're looking straight ahead, because if you're looking down, that's where the body's going. Wherever you look, the body follows. So keep pressing, keep lengthening. Feel that nice stretch and breathe it in. 
Exhale, step your right foot up, outside your hand. Turn your toes out, drop that booty down like you're moving into your frog. Now, hinge forward. Walk your hands back. Walk your hands back. Press your thighs into your arms. Press your arms into your thighs. Start to lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Now, you have an option here. You can lift up your arms, kind of bring your hands up to your booty. Kind of give yourself a little massage if that's what you need. <laughs> lift your hips, lift your tailbone, look ahead. Now you can stay here, or if you want to go deeper, come join me. So release your hands, bring your blocks in. Bring your blocks in by the sides of your feet, and it's going to be up to you. You're going to have to make some adjustments here, I know I am. So work your feet in a little bit closer. All right, hinge forward, bring your triceps inside the thighs. Sweep your hands all the way around. Place them on your blocks. So make sure your palms are flat. And if your arms are long enough, sometimes you can get them down to the ground, but that doesn't happen for a lot of us. All right, so pull your heart forward. Bear down into the palms, let your tailbone grow long. Now, as your tailbone grows long, lift it up and notice how the heels lift right away. So keep pulling your heart forward, shoulders down. You've got to press your thighs into the arms, the arms into the thighs, and maybe this is where you stay, but maybe you can start to wiggle your toes out. Maybe you can lengthen the legs, push out to the heels. Pull your heart forward as we move into firefly. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release it down and go, ah. Work your feet all the way back in. And if you were in that full expression of firefly, move your blocks out. Take your hands off your blocks and bring them back to the booty. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the hips. Exhale, bring your hands down and your shoulders, and then slowly lift up. Ah, toe heel your feet in. Now walk your feet back about eight to 10 inches. Hug your elbows in, bend your knee, bend your knees, bring them into your armpits. Maybe they slide down a little bit closer to your elbows, it's up to you. Now hug your arms in. Start to hinge forward, we're moving into curl kakasana. So don't look down again, wherever you look, the body falls, look ahead. Feel free to lift up one toe, maybe two. Maybe you can bring the big toes to touch. Start to leg, ooh, I'm losing it there. Maybe you can lengthen your arms. Feel that press. Pull your heels closer to your hips. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale. We're gonna step it right back into our plate pose. Look for Exhale to your low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, into your downward facing dog. You go, ah. Press your chest all the way back to your thighs, arms in by your ears. Inhale, your right leg goes all the way to the sky. Exhale, I want you to step it straight through. No lunge. Inhale, to a warrior one. Flatten that back foot, reach your arms all the way to the sky. Bring your heart forward, arms by your ears. Exhale, to a warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, take it up and back. Now exhale, full triangle, lengthen your front leg. Bring that hand down. On your calf, slide to your foot. Maybe you can use your peace fingers, wrap it around the big toe. Let your tailbone grow long. So there's no roundness to the ribs. Your heart is pulling forward. Your chin is over the shoulder. Everything's lifted to the sky. Now sweep your left form around. I want you to find a half bind. Press your form into the smaller back and press your back into the form so you really can open. Work your hand around that hip crease. Now bend that front knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it all the way up and back. And work your hand around that hip crease just a little bit more. Exhale to a side angle pose. And you're still in that bind. Ah. Pull that bottom hip under. Now stay here. Hinge forward. Reach your right arm all the way under and interlace your fingers. Find a full bind. Now if you're in a full bind, your chest is into the mat. Your heart is lifted to the sky. So we're stacking hips and shoulders. Chin is over your shoulders. So press into that back foot so you can find even more length. Here's where we're gonna have some fun. I know, I say fun, we say hard, it all means the same thing. Just take your gaze down and find your big toe. There it is. Start to hop that left foot up. Doesn't matter how many steps it takes. So now your feet are open, hip distance apart. And if you're only in that half mind, see if you can find that half mind. So you can bend the knees a little bit more, sweep your left form around, and you can always use a towel if you have it. But I want you to roll that shoulder open. Now we're moving into bird of paradise, and this is layer one, so you're already here. So shift your weight to your left foot and let that leg grow long if you're coming with me and come up high and ball the right foot. Start to take your gaze forward. Now you can tap that toe up and down, or you can pull that knee all the way up, and you're pressing the thigh into the knee, thigh into the knee, thigh into your arm or your arm into the thigh, pointing your toe. 
lean back with the chest. Now flex your foot and you can stay here or you can lengthen that leg all the way up. Just press to the heel. Lean back with the chest and breathe in. And then exhale, bend the knee, point the toe, lower yourself down with as much control as you have. Release it out and go, ah. Inhale to that halfway hip. Exhale, find your Chaturanga Dandasana or just step it straight back to your downward facing dog. Pulling your chest all the way to your thighs. Remember, nice and long. Biceps forward, triceps back. Inner thighs moving towards the back of your mat. So feel all that space you created with your breath, with movement. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Flatten your back foot. Inhale, warrior one, rise on up. Bringing that right hip, that right shoulder forward. Arms by your ears. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale to that full triangle, lengthen your front leg and hinge. Hand on your shin, on your foot. Maybe you can use your peace fingers to wrap it around your big toe. Now open your heart. Lengthen your tailbone long. So the sides of your butt are nice and long. There's no roundness. Chin is over your shoulder. Everything's lifted up. And then take that half line, sweep your right forearm behind you. Work your hand around your hip crease best you can. Now press your forearm into the back. Press your low back into the forearm so you can open up even wider. Now bend your front knee, inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it all the way up and back and work your hand around your hip crease just a little bit more if you can. Exhale to that side angle pose and you're still in that bind. Open your right shoulder up. Now option to stay right here or come into a full bind. So start to hinge over to the right side of your mat. Take that left arm underneath. And now intertwine your fingers. Open your heart to the sky. So if you're in that full bind, the chest isn't down to the mat, and if that's where you are, maybe you come back to that half bind. Open up through the chest, so hips and shoulders are stacked. Make sure that back foot is pressing down. Chin over your shoulder. Take a deep breath. Exhale, bring your chin towards your breastbone so you can gaze down at your mat. Find that left big toe and go, yep, there it is. You're either in a full bind or a half right now. It doesn't matter. I want you to hop or step your right foot up, and it doesn't matter how many hops it takes. Feet are open, hip distance apart. So if you're in a half bind, see if you can find a full bind or not, whatever you did on the other side. And finding a full bind is hard where you are. Bend your knees. See if that helps you create a little bit more space. So we're moving into that bird of paradise, and you're already there. This is layer one. But if you're coming along with me and you did so on the other side, shift your weight to your right foot, lengthen the leg, and come up on to the ball of the left foot, maybe the big toe. And instead of looking straight down, look ahead. Remember, wherever your eyes look, the body follows. You can tap up and down. It's your choice. Or you can lift up. Ooh. Now press the thigh into the tricep. Press your tricep into the thigh. That opposition is going to help you engage that low belly. Start by pointing the toe, lean back. Stay here or flex and extend that leg all the way up. Now just keep leaning back, keep pushing. Ooh. And then bend the knee, point the toe. Release it down with control, nice and easy. Release that bind and go, ah. Paddle your knees. Feel that release of energy. Inhale to your halfway lift, pull forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Follow your breath or step it straight back into your downward facing dog. Whatever works for you. Inhale, we're going to bring it forward. Find your plank pose. Shoulders down. Give your tip on that little tuck. Exhale, lower yourself down. Your nose, your chin, your chest. Let your belly be the last thing to touch. Uncurl your toes and bring your hands on your chin. Just wiggle those hips up and down. Ah. Pause, extend your left arm forward, palm down, right hand onto your shoulder. So your feet are hip distance apart here. Bend your right knee and flex your foot. Push down into your right hand and take a deep breath. Exhale, flip it over, take your right leg behind you. Maybe the toe taps down. Maybe you can flatten your foot. Now keep your hand where it is or slide it closer towards your chest. And then an option to find a half bind. 
And this will take you deeper, but it's more supportive, so it feels good. So take your right hand, slide it under your rib cage as far as you can get it. Then press the small of your back into your form and press your form into the small of your back. Then you can open your right knee wider. Just breathe. Asking yourself where you can soften, where you can unwind. Shoulders, hips, the low back. Maybe it's just your face. Breathe in. Exhale, release. So sweep that right arm all the way around on your shoulder. Coming back onto your belly, hands underneath your chin. Once again, wiggle the hips. Just take a moment here. And then we're going to extend on the other side. So right arm forward, palm down. Slide your hand on your left hand on your shoulder, elbow by your side. Bend in your left knee. Flex the foot. Breathe in. Exhale, bear down and flip it over. So take your left leg behind you. You can be on your toe. You can flatten the foot. You can keep your left hand where it is or draw it a little bit closer towards your breastbone. So you've got a pillow with that bottom arm. Or my favorite, it takes you deeper, but it's way more supportive. Take that arm all the way up. Sweep it behind you. Work your hand under your ribs as deeply as you can. And then let the back press into the forearm, but press your forearm into the back so you've got all that support. Start to open your left knee wider. And again, ask yourself where you can soften, where you can release the shoulders, the low back, the hips, your face. Just listen to your breath. Breathe in. And then exhale, come on forward. Slide your hands under your shoulders and wish to press back into a child's pose. So open your knees to the edges of your mat. Bring your hips to your heels and just surrender yourself all the way down. Wiggle your hips. Feel that release all the way into the small of your back. Now inhale, pull yourself up. Exhale, as you have a seat on either hips as you swivel your legs all the way around. Plant your feet on the mat. Take a block with you as you roll down. If you have it, if not, don't worry. You can use your hands for this one. So bring your arms by your side and slide your heels to your hips. And see if you can scrape your heels with your fingertips. And then pull them even a little closer. Spread out your fingers, spread out your toes. And as you inhale, curl your pelvis up to the sky, lifting up into your bridge. Interlace your fingers, press your palms. Work your shoulders under your chest and press your forearms into the mat. Feel that deep lift. Stay here. Or inhale, pull your right knee towards you. And as you exhale, push the ball of the right foot to the sky. Now inhale, bear down into the forearms, lift up even higher. Exhale, bend the knee and bring it all the way down. Work your heels closer towards you. Press your palms, forearms bearing down. Again, stay here. Or inhale, pull that left knee towards you. And as you exhale, push the ball of the foot to the sky. Now inhale, bear down as the forearms lift up even higher. Feel all that space, hollowing out your belly. Exhale, bend the knee and bring it all the way down. Now take that block that's by your side. Place it underneath the small of your back, low, medium, or high. And if you don't have a block, you can stay as you are. Bring your hands to the small of your back. So you kind of work your thumbs underneath you and bring your elbows in. Now for me, as soon as I do this, I come onto the balls of my feet. My hands are behind my low back, but it feels good to me. But try to keep your shoulders down so you're nice and supported here. So again, you're either using that block, or if you don't have a block, use your hands. As you exhale, release. So release your arms, 
And if you're on that block, just roll up onto the balls, the feet, take it away, and slow, slowly come all the way down. When your tailbone touches, draw your knees towards you, hands on your shins, and just let your body rock for a moment. Feeling that release in the small of your back. You can stay here, take it deeper in your happy baby, reaching for the inner or outer arches. Maybe you've got a hold of your big toes with your peace fingers. You can stay here with your knees bent. You can start to lengthen the legs, a little ninja baby. And just let your body do whatever feels good right now. And then slowly release, pulling your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Arms go wide. And extend your legs all the way to the top of your mat. Eyes fall into the back of your head and you drop your chin ever so slightly so your spine can unwind. Just feel yourself sink down with your shoulders, your ribs, your hips. Every fiber, every aspect of your being, just let it go. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, just sigh. Allow yourself to be. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you need, especially if you have the time. Otherwise, bring up awareness, focus to your breath. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes, just gently waking your body up. Extend your arms over your ears, your legs go long, hook your thumbs. Inhale, reach, stretch it out. Lift your heart all the way to the sky. And as you exhale, circle your arms around and draw your knees to your chest. Just give yourself a great big hug. Honor your practice. Honor yourself for showing up on your mat. Gently pull yourself up and have a seat at the top. And bring your hands to your heart space. Slide your thumbs to your breastbone. Lean back as though your spine were against a wall. And as you pause here, take a moment to appreciate your strength, your power, your courage. Remember that softness, that opening, that space we're creating is not a sign of weakness. Trying to power through everything is not a sign of strength. Allowing yourself to be open, vulnerable, to share with others, even your, that includes yourself, of who it is you really are. That takes strength. That's our purpose. That's why we're here. To let our light shine out so we can shine and share our true colors. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh, let it out. Ah, smile. And it's from my heart to yours, the highest in me sees, honors, respects, loves, believes. And the highest in you and the highest in each and every one of us. Namaste.